Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Steve. I'm Lindsay. And today we're going to be reading to American versus British English 55 differences. I absolutely love this topic. I think Lindsay does as well. Yeah. I think this is the second time we're kind of exploring the topic of American versus British English and the differences in the way we describe the same items mm -hmm. or the same things. Yeah. Um, it's not just the words we use, but it's also obviously the way we pronounce them and so forth and so on. Um, but uh, this should be fun. I really like these videos. So um, you ready to get started? All right, let's do this. So what do you see here? Leaves. Uh, uh, fall. Fall to autumn trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what season is it? Fall. fall. Autumn. Yeah, I knew that yeah, one. Yeah. What's this? A faucet. Faucet. Tap. 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 Um, what's this? Router. Router. Wi-Fi. Yeah, but what's the box that the Wi-Fi is pumped out? It's a router. Router? Router. We say oh, router. router. Really? Okay, that shocks me. When I when we pronounce something router, it's usually like rotor router. But that's R O O. I know, that's what I'm saying. Router, yeah. So that's do that. you pronounce that router? I'm guessing that? they would probably pronounce that router, router as well. Router. I, don't, I don't really know about that one. Router. What's. Wait, what are we looking at? Oh, these little green things. Sand. Oh, what do you call jalapenos. them? Jalapenos. Pickles. Oh, wait. Gherkins. Gherkins. What's in the glass pot? <laughs> jelly. Uh, jelly. Jam. Oh, you know. So if that was jelly, then what's this? Jello. Jello. Jello, Jello. yeah. We call this jelly. Wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly. Plate. Do you never say that? No. That's weird. What are we looking at? Would you call it jelly? Would you call that jelly? No. Yeah. Because here our jelly is spreadable. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's true. I think we call it jello. Because of the brand. Because that was the most popular yeah. brand. I think we did that with a lot of things Kleenex, here. Kleenex, Band-Aid. Q tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all brands that Probably were used by our grandparents yeah. and great grandparents, and then so like that was the main brand everybody had. In this case, Jello. So like, hey, can I have some Jello? And even if it's a different brand, it's always called Jello. Yeah. Here. House. It's house. Okay. So what's the general term for like houses and buildings? Real and estate. Stuff? Like if you were like, oh, I've got loads of money, I want to buy some real estate. Yeah. Property. We would say property. You would I mean, say yeah. I mean, real estate. for us, though, I feel like when we say property, it's land. Usually, yeah. Absolutely. Whereas if you guys say property, it also means house. Guess yes. so. Some real estate comes with a massive one of these. What are you looking at there? This nice yard. A backyard. Uh, I know this one. You guys say garden. Yeah. yeah. Which is really interesting because our garden would be only where like where you're growing growing things. stuff. Yeah. Well, technically you're growing grass, but it's not. You know. <laughs> We'd call that a garden. Or a front yard. Well, this it's yard is like a front. sideways yard because it's so a sideways, sideways yard. This was my house. It's not. Mm. When you actually make the purchase, who do you talk to? Realtor. In order to actually buy it. An agent. Oh, I know this one. Go. Realtor. The realtor. We would call them an estate agent of unspecified jump rope. Doing. Jump, jump rope. rope. Skipping. What? Well, then, what do you call the act of skipping? Like true. Do you call yeah. that skipping too? Yep. I've heard skipping rope, but just to say skipping. Well, see me if I'm if I was doing skip rope, it would I wouldn't be jumping at this with the at the same, both legs at the same time. It would be like skipping, like alternating alternating feet. feet yeah. Which maybe that. I don't know. Why is that called skipping? Because to me, I mean, you are skipping the rope, I guess. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, but it's true. Like what, what would you guys call when you're like, just like, well, skipping down the road right. like a kid does or something. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it must be. I can't imagine it'd be anything different. What are these kids in? Ball pit. Ball pit. Ball pool, we say. Ball pool. Ball pool. Ball pool. That, that makes sense. Yeah, ball pool. Ball pool. No, it's a ball pit. Ball pool. It's a ball pool. Because it's a pool of balls. <laughs> and it's a pit. It is a pit. this guy. Janitor. Janitor. Mm -hmm. We would call him a caretaker because he's taking care of the building. You would. That's interesting. A caretaker. Now. Like when I hear caretaker, I think of like hospice or like someone in healthcare. That, but you also call, I also would call someone a caretaker that is taking care of. Like an estate. Like an estate. Mm -hmm. Like a big house. Right? Like a, like a, like a. Like the houses we looked at uh, a few days back. Right, the country homes. The country homes. State like homes. The, the people that are taking care of that, like outside and stuff. Yeah. We would call them a caretaker. Or groundskeeper. Yeah, that would be a groundskeeper as well, the ones doing the landscaping and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, if you're like inside an office building or a school and you're cleaning, 
That we would always call a janitor. Caretaker, that's interesting. We'd say... A janitor. Um, this is somewhere where you'd go, there might be a... Pool, gym? A gym, gym. Maybe a sauna. Or a fitness oh, center. A, a steam room, all this stuff. What would you call it? A gym. Yeah. Well, that's the gym. Health the gym club? Part, but the whole building, which uh, might... Fitness center, fitness center or health club? Fitness center. A gym, a swimming pool, a Wait, sauna, a steam room. What could it be to them? A gym. Okay. A health center or a fitness center. That's the only thing I can I can yeah. think of. Oh, the gym has a sauna? Cool. Oh, the gym has a pool? Cool. <laughs> It's a gym. We would call it a leisure center. A leisure center or a leisure center. Hmm. That's interesting. I love the way that's pronounced actually. Leisure, leisure, oh, leisure, leisure center. Leisure. I, I, I pronounce that word leisure. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Leisure. But I'm going to start saying leisure. Leisure, me see, too. See what kind of looks I get. <laughs> I'm going to go to the leisure center. I'm going to go to the leisure center. <laughs> yeah. I, people will be like, what? 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 <laughs> I don't even think people would understand what yeah, a they probably wouldn't. leisure center is. <laughs> Have you heard, like, do you know leisure center? Do you say that in the States? No, never heard uh, of it. What class are these poor people sitting in? Business? I mean, not business. Uh, coach, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we would say economy. Oh, when you I heard that too. Plane, yeah. You are permitted to take this on board. What do you Carry call on. Carry on. We would say hand luggage. What's this for? Makes sense. So an RV. An would, would you say RV? <laughs> RV or like a camper van. It's pretty small. That is a small RV. I, I, I don't even call it a camper van. It's too long for it to be a camper van. But uh, yeah, that that is a, well, I was going to say it's a class C RV, but it's not because it doesn't have the overhead uh, thing. So that would be a very small class A or a class B RV. Mm -hmm. RV. We call that a camper van. And I really. Interesting. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Like, I see why they call it a camper van because it's it's, it's basically it's a long a van. One. I would only call right. an RV like a bigger one. Yeah, I can see that. Because this is more car than our like recreation. Mo vehicle. More car than our. <laughs> yeah. You want one? So you go on your summer holiday and you spend a week in a trailer park. We trailer park? No, I don't. I would call it campground or RV park. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. A trailer park is generally here. Where uh, you have like actual homes. Where someone has a mobile home. It, like there's a, you might have 20 mobile homes on this mm -hmm. little street. That's just a mobile home park or a trailer and park. And they don't move. Like, yeah, they they're... don't move. They're there like set. Not always on foundations. They're just that they're, they got their underpinning and stuff. Mm -hmm. We'd call that a caravan park. So what would you call these white things that are parked up here? Trailer. We yeah. call them caravans. What bird is this? A parakeet. A parakeet. Budgery gar. Mm. Did you not know that? Budgery gar. I've heard budgie before. A budgie. I love that. A budgie. That is cute, man. Why is it called two different things? Think about it. If I was that guy right there, that 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 I little like, parakeet. Yeah, he totally looks more like a budgie. It's a budgie. That's a, that's a budgie, budgie right there. You look at it. Look at that little budgie. I like to scratch him on his chin. Little budgie. Aww. Come here, you little budgie. That's weird. Why are they called two different things? I know that is weird. Excuse me. Budgery gar. Do you not know budgery gars? You know, never had a budgie when you was younger. No, you never I've, a I've never owned a These bird. No, my ma my grandma had a cockatiel. Like Did she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they kill birds. Yeah. So budgie comes out the oven. What's that? Chicken, chicken. rotisserie chicken. Yeah, or roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. We call that a roast chicken. Yeah. Okay. What's this thing with the handle? A pitcher. A pitcher. Yeah, a pitcher. A jug. I'm Wait. surprised. I'm a surprised. Jug. Ours sounds more classy than your term on that. A jug to me is a jug would be more closed. Like you'd have a yeah. lid for a jug. Like a lot of times what we put our milk in uh -huh. or yeah, like that'd be a jug. Mm -hmm. A pitcher generally is a glass Open. glass thing with a just a little poor part mm -hmm. and no lid on it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, juice box. Juice box, yeah. That's yeah, that's what I'd call that. Box. Juice carton. Juice carton. I mean carton. that makes sense. Like a milk carton, yeah. Thicker. Yogurt? Yogurt? Yogurt. Oh, the pronunciation. Oh, yogurt. How do you say yo yogurt? Yogurt. Do you guys say yogurt? No, yogurt? You say, let's hear that again real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Thicker. Yogurt? Yogurt. 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 This girl has finished her Degree? project, her work. And she's going to give it to her teacher. What's she going to do? Turn it in. Turn it in. Oh, okay. Turn it in, yeah. Or hand it in. I would say turn it in. Turn in my 
work, turn in my paper. Hand in my work, turn in my work. Would you say turn in or hand in? Either, depending. I would definitely say turn, turn in, turn it in. I feel like turn in would be the more common. I'm going to guess they probably say hand it in or something like that. Hand it in. Mm. Yeah. It in. That makes sense to me. Both. She's going to hand it to her teacher, hand it in. Now the teacher's going to take it and he's going to go through it. Grade it. Look at it. So what's he going to do? Grade. It, is it going to be Mark? Probably. He's going to grade it. Mm -hmm. We say Mark. He's gonna ah, how did I know that? You work. So yeah. Have you marked my test? Have okay. you graded my test? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're clever, you'll get lots of these in it. Check marks. What are these? Check oh, marks. check marks, yeah. Yeah, we'd say ticks. 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 Ticks! Here, I mean, I've heard that before, I think. But here, that's just, interesting. you think of the blood sucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parasite. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm sure that's what they call ticks over there as well. I don't know. That's something, that's something I'd like to look Do into, guys. I. If someone wants to share with us some sort of video or, or resource about like like parasitic insects, mosquitoes, ticks, <laughs> stuff like that, I'd be very interested to know how prevalent those types of insects are in the UK mm -hmm. because we have a ton of them here. We, do. we have the really oh. small small deer ticks here that are horribly they they hide so easily, and then you get diseases like Rocky Mountain. Spotted fever and uh, Lyme. Lyme disease, and and then the mosquitoes are just really annoying, and they also pest. But anyway, that's off topic, but just something I'm very interested in. It's tick box. Check mark. What are these kids doing right now? Taking a test. Mm -hmm. Test, yeah. They are sitting an exam. Mm. Taking a test. I feel like exam is used here more in college, well, university. I was going to say, to me, the difference between a test and exam a test is one of the more like routine, like, oh, we're gonna have a test on Friday. Mm -hmm. Like an exam then, is like, like the, end the end of the year. year. You're like all encompassing like right. big the, part of your grade. The test is the small little little stepping stones mm -hmm. throughout the year of like, right, we're gonna take a test to see where you're at, where if you know what's going on so far yeah. with the knowledge you've learned. And the exam is the all encompassing big test. Right, basically. exam is usually like a more serious. Yes. It could test. be the SATs or it could mm -hmm. be like, uh, you know, like I said, the end of the year exam Your or something finals. like that. Yeah. I haven't gone to school in forever, so I have no idea how they do it nowadays. <laughs> but. Who's this bloke? Teacher. Teacher. Or professor. What's his job? A to proctor? teach. What does a proctor do? Proctor's an exam. You call him an invigilator. Invigilator? An invigilator? I've never heard that in my life. What is an invigilator? Well, I mean, I guess it's like uh, someone overseas Test like taking? A vigil, you keep watch, but like invigilator. I, I have heard it. never heard that. That's wild. Okay. What are they doing? Kids have just been told. Playing? Class oh. is over. Oh. What are they now on? Recess. Recess. Break time. Hmm. These okay. kids are in their final years of high school. So. Senior. Like 17 turning 18. Junior, senior. What Junior, you senior. To these kids as? They're seniors. Yeah, seniors. Seniors. We would say year 13. So we don't have this whole hmm. freshman, sophomore. What's after that? Junior. Start with kindergarten senior. through 12. So can say... Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. senior. We just have year 10, 11, 12, 13 as those equivalents. We don't have special hmm. names. So these guys, if they were leaving to go to university next year, or as you would say... College. College. Then we would say they're in year 13, i.e. second year of sixth form. That is something we still have to look into. Yeah. Because their sixth form seems to be what we would consider 11th and 12th grade. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's like uh, kind of preparing you for college, I guess. Right. Or university. Um, but yeah, there's so many differences in the wording of school, how it takes place and whatnot. Like, did you, when you were in like seventh and eighth grade, mm -hmm. was it called junior high for you? We had high, yes. high school was ninth yeah, through was 12th grade, mm -hmm. and then junior high was 7th and 8th eighth. Eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Middle school for me was just 6th grade. It was middle school. See, now I think the school I used to go to, I think they Sixth, have... 6th, 7th, 8th middle school. Yeah, 6th, 7th, 8th middle school. Because I know they, they do that as well where I'm from, but I just happened to be the weird one that I went to a school that was just 6th grade only, mm -hmm. and I think I was actually the last class... That they went that sixth experience. grade there before they turned that school into an elementary school, because <laughs> um, it was pretty big. I, I'm surprised in the town I I was in how, how many sixth graders we had to be able to fill out an entire school. Yeah, that is weird. It was very weird, but anyway. 
<laughs> what game are they playing with these things? Baseball. That does not. That is not a baseball bat. That does not look like a baseball bat. To that me. is too stubby. On the ends, the yeah. the, the bottom here. And the handle doesn't look. Long that's enough. that's what I'm talking about. The the handle is it has some sort of rubber thing on maybe it. Maybe it looks more like a tee ball bat or something. Yeah, or like little. Maybe things. it is. Maybe that, maybe it's what he's getting a tee ball. Mm, it's like baseball, but for kiddies. Wiffle ball. Wiffle ball. Wiffle ball. Rounders. A good game of rounders. Down rounders. Ball. Rounders. Yeah. I know the term rounders. Don't know why. I guess I've just heard it somewhere. What wiffle ball? Wiffle I've ball. Heard that before, but yeah, I, I don't know why I know that one either. That's not why I call it t-ball. Wiffle ball usually has like the holes. holes in yeah, it, and it's a plastic. Yeah, thing. it's not. Like T-ball is actually baseball, but, but for, for really young kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I was in T-ball and then I was in baseball, but I never played anything called wiffle ball. But um, I do believe that is what you're talking about. They got the little holes in mm -hmm. it. Yeah, like a plastic ball with little holes. Yeah. On the beach or in the school field is a great laugh. Do you have rounders or not? No. It doesn't mean anything to you? No. Oh, okay. Who's this bloke? Santa Claus! Santa Claus. Father Christmas. Santa Claus. And he says Christmas. How would you greet Christmas. your fellow Americans at this festive time of year? Merry Christmas. We would say Happy Christmas, although loads of people say Merry Christmas now. What's this girl wearing? A robe. robe. A robe. We'd call that a dressing gown. Hmm. We'd a dressing gown? Is it because instead of necessarily like wearing it before bed, a lot of people take a shower when they're like, get they get up in the morning, they take a shower, they wear that as they're picking out their clothes to get dressed. Is mm -hmm. that why it's called dressing gown? Your hair right, you're maybe, doing yeah. a woman. Probably most We're men probably don't. I feel like we wear those more at night. Yeah, 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 definitely. Do you have this concept of dressing gown or not? No. It's a bathrobe. You yeah. take a shower or a bath, and then you put your bathrobe on. Leave a comment if you have a dressing gown and if you love your dressing gown. What's this guy doing? Stocking, Stocking shelves. Looking for food in the forest. True, but what's his job? He's getting paid to do this. Oh, he's restocking the shelves. Stocking shelves. Mm -hmm. We say stacking shelves. No, he's stocking. Stacking. Stack, stocking. Yeah. That's stacking you, shelves makes it sound like you're literally physically stacking, you're stacking shelves stuff. on top of each other. Here, you're you're re you're the stocking stock, the shelves that are there. The stock is being refilled. Yeah. So you're stocking it. Yeah, I think ours makes more. sense. I, I feel like I feel like that is one where ours makes more sense because you're actually you are refilling the stock on the shelf, so you are stocking the shelves. Mm -hmm. Stacking, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yes. We, we literally say stock. Uh, wait, no, you say stocking. We say stacking. <laughs> yeah, he's so, restocking. Yeah, no, it, I'd say he's a shelf stacker because he's stacking the things on he's the shelf. He's a shelf stocker because he's restocking his stock of goods. Yeah. On the shelf. You're driving down the road. High street. Blinker. You want to hack a left at the end of the road. What do you do? Turn up. Turn the blinker. Use your turn mm -hmm. signal. Turn signal. I do not say blinker. Turn we call signal. it an indicator. Mm. It's so formal. That is very formal. That is very formal. But I actually think that one actually makes more sense because you're indicating which way you're turning. But a turn. You're signaling which way you're turning too. That that's true. I think. <laughs> both of them, but like growing up in the south, it was always. We're gonna turn on the blinker. Don't yeah, I don't. I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a lot of little southern turns from my mom growing <laughs> up. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any clue what this is? Tractor? Yep. It's like the bottom bit of a motor vehicle. It's got a oh, special chassis? name, which is spelled yeah. like this: chassis. C H A S S, -S I S. Chassis. Have you even a even chassis? come? Chassis. Americans say chassis, right? I think no, so. I say chassis. We say chassis. 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 Okay, well, I don't say chassis. I think I don't use that term very chassis, often. But I say chassis. Like I don't Maybe really. I don't know when the last time I actually used that word, so it's yeah, hard for me I to know. even know. Like, how do I say that? Like, I've I've obviously said that plenty of times in my life, but I can't remember if I say it like chassis or chassis. Chassis. I do end it with the s. Mm -hmm. So they don't end it with the s. They do chassis. Well, at least he does chassis. What's the big city here that isn't London? Birmingham. 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 Birmingham, what yeah, do you typically right. call the main road or street that runs down the centre main street. of main street. town? Main Street. We call it the High Street. What's this? High Street. Garage. Garage. Do it again. Do it again. Garage. Garage. What's in the Garage. red circle? Period. 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 Full stop. Full I knew stop. that. Brackets. What letter is that? C. Z. <laughs> Z. Interesting. I've heard that before. I, I think I have heard it, but that's just an interesting... So, like, 
So if you're, so if a kid is learning to do their alphabet and they're doing A, B, C, D, F, G, it goes X, Y, Z? I think so. Really? Really? That's interesting. Okay. This girl dresses in tie-dye. She's got a nose piercing. How would you describe her? Hippie. hippie. I would say she's a hippie. Oh, yeah, yeah we would too. Or... Crunchy. Wow, these guys are really crunchy. Yeah, very crunchy. So peaceful. On Netflix. I feel like crunchy here is more about like health eating. consciousness. Like yeah, health consciousness. Not yeah. necessarily your dress. Style. Yeah, I, I I think crunchy is um, people that are extremely health conscious. Mm -hmm. um, you'll find them. Which we would consider ourselves somewhat crunchy, especially for our daughter. Mm -hmm. Like for 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 Sophia, we definitely are a little bit crunchy in uh, the way <laughs> we 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 feed her and things yeah. like that. Uh, but I think it's more than just food. It's also just the way you Lifestyle. approach life in general. It's not really about the clothes, though. No, it's not about clothes. That's that's where the hippie-ish yeah. come, vibe comes in with the, the yeah. clothing and stuff. Um, so you can, I think you can have a, here in the U.S., you can have a crunchy person that's not a hippie. Or and you a can hippie have, person that's not a And you have a hippie person that's not crunchy. But you, but you can also have a crunchy person that is hippie. Yeah. yeah. So, because <laughs> I've met lots of hippies that don't care about their health right. or what they eat. Right. And that wouldn't be someone that's crunchy here. Right. So, yeah. Netflix, there is a whole variety of different TV... Shows. Shows. Programs. Oh! Both. Oh! And program is more accurate because it's programming <clears throat> you. <clears throat> what? How many times I always say a TV program? See, I feel like here that was an older generation. It is. Older people generally say program. It is. Which is more accurate. Right. But nowadays younger people say shows. And yeah. you've always said program. I, and yeah. you've always been <laughs> my little but, but, grandpa. <laughs> but, but, the, but here's the thing. I don't care what anybody says. You watch a TV program. The program is right because it is mm -hmm. programming your mind, yeah. good or bad, whatever you're consuming. What you consume, just like what you eat, makes up your body. What you consume through your ears and your eyes makes up your mind. Mm -hmm. And so it is very much a program. I agree. So. To watch. Program was always like the typical word for a TV show, but it's kind of dying out, but I'm trying to keep it alive in this video. So <laughs> this semi brief minim, crotchet, quaver, semi quaver, demi semi quaver, and then demi dem, de, de, dem semi, semi demi semi quaver. Wait, demi demi semi quaver. Oh my. I mean, I, I get what it is because you got I the... honestly don't remember what these are called. I took music in school. They're but... music notes. I know, but like the each one is a different thing. Like treble, treble club. I don't know. I think. I yeah, know. I've been forever. I, I would call them whole note, half note, oh, yeah. quarter oh. note, eighth note, sixteenth note, thirty-second note, sixty-fourth note. Americans okay. keep things simple, right? Mm-hmm. Fire truck. Fire engine. Oh, fire okay. engine. Mm, specifically, Hospital. the emergency room would go emergency to room. room. ER. Had some kind of major accident. A and E. What's oh, the ER that's stand for? right. Emergency room. Accident A and E and stands emergency? for accident and emergency. Okay. So, the bad news is if you've had a really bad accident, you need an operation. Okay. This girl is going to come and put some stuff in your veins or your arteries, which is going to make you go to sleep. Who is she? Anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist. Anesthetist. Anesthesiologist. Okay. So your operation didn't go so well, and now you are here. She's on like a life support machine. She's in the ICU. Mm -hmm. I see you, yeah. In intensive care. Yeah, that's, that's the same thing. Yeah, ICU is just short for intensive care unit. Sometimes we say so, intensive care. Yeah, you do say, we do use that term as well sometimes. Yeah. We just call it intensive care. Uh, you lost your job and you're given this termination notice. Pink slip. What's a pink slip? Basically, you're fired. When you're fired in the UK, you're handed your P45. Your P45? That sounds like a gun. <laughs> it does. It actually does. Yeah, a P45. P45. All right. <laughs> P45. So, a pink slip and a P45, I feel like that's probably different. I feel like the P45 is actually a governmental form. Mm -hmm. Is a pink slip a government for? I don't know. I've never, I've never seen I've one never in person. Received one. I didn't know it was a real thing. Well, I only know that like a lot of times people like were given them when they were fired or whatever. But I always assumed it was just something like 
made like a note from the 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 workplace or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know actually is it actually a governmental form? Maybe what it is if you get a pink slip or a P45 in this case, maybe it makes it easier for someone to take down to the unemployment office to get unemployment benefits mm-hmm. or something. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe. US pink slip. Yes. Your boss gives you this box and says pack your stuff, you're done. You didn't do anything wrong, but what's happened to you? You're, you're fired. fired. Or let go. Laid off. Huh? Yeah, we would say you've been made redundant. So made yeah. redundant. Made redundant. Dude, that sounds harsh. Made redundant. All Laid right. off. Fired. Let yeah. go. Made yeah. redundant. That's wild. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is redundancy. You've been laid off. If you want a new job, once you've been laid off, a uh, resume. Resume. You might want to write up one of these. What is it? A resume. CV. Curriculum vitae. Ooh. Testing your knowledge of constellations. What that, is this constellation? Is that the Big Dipper? These last two it point like to the North Star. Oh, wait. Dipper. Star. Big Dipper. Yeah. We call it the plow. <laughs> what game? The plow! What? Even your constellations are... I would have never... I thought the constellations were the same names. Me like, too. everywhere. Me too. The plow. That's interesting. If anyone knows, let us know in the comments why what we call the Big Dipper is known as the Plow. Also, are any other constellations different names? I'm guessing probably. That's so weird. I, that that blows weird. my mind. That 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 does. Blow I never my mind. would have expected that. This is Shoots, Shoots and, and Ladders. Who is this? Shoots and Ladders. Snakes and Ladders. Mm. I've heard that too, have... actually. Shoots. This guy sat on a Haystack. hay bale. Bale of hay. That's a, uh, I was going to say haystack too. Bale of hay is holding a flashlight. Flashlight. Torch. I knew a that. Torch. Yeah, I knew they called it torch. Wow. Huh. All right, guys. That well, was I'd interesting. Say, I'd say the constellations one was the most mind blowing for me. And what was the other one? There's oh, the leisure center. Leisure center. Yeah. yeah that's Which to me is a strange thing to call it because. When you're going to the gym, you're like putting in work. So like that's usually, I, mean, I guess if you're going to a sauna or the spa, yeah. you are being leisure. No, but... you're a- you're absolutely right though. Like you are going to work out usually at a gym. I mean, they do have saunas and stuff like that, but usually that's for after your mm-hmm. exercise. So that's interesting. Yeah, guys, love this topic. Definitely want to continue exploring some more of this topic in the future. We also want to dive more into accents and mm-hmm. uh, pronunciations and things like that as well. Um, so let us know in the comments, guys, if you have any recommendations for us to check out. But uh, you got anything you want to add before we go? No. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover anything and everything about the UK and Ireland. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.